loaded and ready to go on our next excursion. Still heading back into West Virginia for, uh, let's see, I'll have three checks down here and then that'll be it for the year for me. We're heading out of town for a little vacation and it'll be a nice little getaway. We're going to see what all we can get here. We got some DPs, got a couple dozen 110s, some 330s obviously there. Uh, a bunch of coil springs, so we're gonna have to you know, be after uh, you know rats, beaver, and some coons. The weather's looking alright for maybe some coon movement, so hopefully we can pick a few more up. Um, we'll be setting tomorrow, and then uh, checking the next day. So we'll see you guys when we have some action. Not a bad way to start off our day. We got us a nice double on coons down in here. The other one's hiding behind the bush right there. <laughs> Let's get down in here and take a look at them. Oh yeah, a couple nice guys. This one here's real dark. This one over here's pretty light. We're gonna get them out of here. Get on down the road. Don't really know if you can see or not. We're in between them stakes. I got two rats there. What happened here is there's more bank tens up along here that I wanted to set, but um <laughs> We're just a couple feet off the bank here, and right there already I'm up over my waist in muck, and about, and there's only like eight inches of water here. So this is the only spot I got set up here, but what I did, hole was real wide, so I put two 110s side by side in between the stakes there, and nabbed two rats. I wasn't sure how it was going to work out, but panned out good, so we'll get them up here on the bank and get a, get a shot of them. There we go, two rats from the same spot, side by side like that. It's the first time I've ever tried that, and I'm glad it worked. I wasn't sure that it would. <clears throat> like I said, these other holes out here are just too far out for me to even think about trying to get to, as mucky as this water is, or bottom is, which sucks. There's a bunch of holes along here, so I'm going to try and get these back in here in the right spot. Maybe we'll have a couple more tomorrow. Okay, awesome little deal here. I didn't show it. I wish I would have. Right on the other side of the hut here, there you can see it. Had a rat. And it's chewed up. Front leg's gone, back leg's chewed up. <laughs> Wondering what it was. I knew it had to be, you know, mink, possibly a bird. Who knows? Car here to the other side. Trap's gone. Was right there. Guess what we got? Huge for this area mink how cool is that steal my muskrat I'll catch you that's awesome perfect front foot he was drowned when we got here uh, we don't get too many mink here but that's cool for me so uh, today's going good I can smell him already <laughs> got us another rat just barely enough water to put him down in here this water's dropped a lot in the last couple of days. Well, since I scouted it, not sure why, but no matter, we got one. Got us another nice rat here. Uh, we got a toilet here, and all we did was right here took made a little depression for the water for the trap to just set just under water. Nice rat too. Um, and when they crawl up and out, you know, they're crawling all around this thing. Chances are, you know, sooner or later, one of them's going to step on there. And there we go. That's all you need them to do. And then stake out here in a little bit deeper water. Rats aren't real hard to drown. That's what you get. Doesn't take much of a genius to figure out that um, there's beavers here. <laughs> Got a monster feed bed. One of the bigger ones I've seen in a long time. Big old hut. We're gonna catch a few here, I hope. Okay, I was right. There's beavers here. Um, <laughs> what we had here was this channel, too wide obviously for one trap. So I set two 330s side by side, had it all fenced off, and uh, ended up with one beaver and another giant beaver here. This is a big one. <clears throat> gonna have fun. Uh, 
sliding these guys out all the way in a sled. But um, we're going to get them out, reset, and see if we catch any more tomorrow. Probably my favorite set, and one that I just don't really get to use much, is a bottom edge. It sure is fun to catch rats and mink and stuff in these things. We got here is just a straight bank pretty much up and down and right here is pretty much the most the outermost point of it <clears throat> which is what you look for when you set these and it's slightly undercut so it's just perfect and we nailed a rat there got us another rat over here nice little spot just a little uh back kind of water here in a creek deeper slowed down and I got a little spot here feeding out and or crawling out and feeding on some grass and roots and stuff so that's where we sit there's a rat another nice one we're gonna get three set I think I'm gonna go ahead and put another trap here too I'm gonna try and double up on this maybe some more will move through man we had a pretty good run today got uh, two beavers two raccoons seven rats and a mink that's pretty not a bad run at all uh, that beaver on the right there is huge I know I said the one beaver in my last video might be the biggest one I ever caught but this one here I think actually definitely is his tail is monstrous uh, the coons are starting to go downhill it looks like getting wooly looking already so that's no good um, the mink first one of the year that's pretty cool don't catch many of them here and this one's a big one <clears throat> All the rats still look good. Um, we're going to end up pulling tomorrow. So I will only have set, well, checked for two days down there. So I just, I won't have time the day that we're going to the airport to check and get everything skinned and pull the line that day. So short little line, but it's producing some fur so far. Hopefully tomorrow's similar. So we'll get everything taken care of and tomorrow check and hope for the same results see you tomorrow boy this sight never gets old seeing a back of a rat sticking up out of the water got him at the same spot where we caught the mink and the chewed on rat yesterday uh, this is it so far we're done pulling this spot and we'll be on to the next one well this isn't how I like to have a muskrat we got a live one here uh, so we're pulling today and we'll get right down here and grab one of the 110s and we'll get him dispatched here but nice looking rat anyhow so glad to get him got us another nice rat at the toilet here that's kind of odd second one i've caught <clears throat> down here at this particular spot with the shortened tail <laughs> but Pretty hard to pass up on toilets like that because I'll just produce rat after rat after rat. I wish I had some more days to be down here, but this is it. Does it get any better than this? Two rats floating in a row. Had a little spot there. They're going up under the bank and feeding. Crawling up out right there. Got a rat. Same thing right up here. There's a rat. He's crawling up on the bank right there or they were I'm sure it was multiples but two nice rats and we still got more traps to check got us another rat under the water there had a crawl out spot where they were going way up over the bank here you just can't pass these up man I love trapping muskrats <laughs> didn't trap any last year forgot how much fun it was <laughs> but they sure are an exciting critter to get into. Wish we had a whole bunch more of them. Here's our catch for today. Six rats. All nice rats though. We'll take them. Um, that's going to be a wrap for our season this year. Uh, it was a good one. We had fun. Caught a bunch of critters. Hopefully you guys enjoy it. Maybe um, pick up some more subscribers and stuff this way. We definitely put some fur in the freezer. Now it's time to get it all 
put up and done. I'm sure we'll do a couple of videos of that, working on some fur. We'll be busy here still. And uh, what I'm looking forward to is shed season. It's coming soon. So we're going to get these guys taken care of. It's a little bittersweet ending. It's always sad the last day that you're setting. But that's it. We're calling it. Um, hope everybody else is having a good one. If you're still trapping, good luck to you. And we'll see you guys on the next one.